you guys and stuff. I want to show you a program today called Digsby. Digsby is an IM client. I'll show you the website here. Um, that basically you can connect to multiple um, different net networkings, including uh, AIM, MSN, Yahoo, Google Talk. Um, I don't know what that is. Jabber and any Facebook. You can even hook up to your Facebook chat. Um, and it can also give you email notifications and update notifications on when people change their profile stuff on like Facebook, and MySpace, and stuff like that, Twitter. Um, so basically I was using Pigeon, if you didn't know, I was using Pigeon before. It was a good program, I just noticed so many instabilities with it, I mean it, it literally crashed every time I decided to close. It was a great program, I just had so many problems with it, I had to stop using it. So in search I found a program called Digspeed. Um, what you're going to do, this is currently only available for Windows, it's uh, digsby.com, um, and I've only used it on Windows Vista, I actually moved my desktop to Windows Vista also, I had it on XP, I decided to move to Vista, love it, it's awesome, but that's not the point. Um, currently it's only available for Windows, um, but it will be, it says Digsby is coming soon for Mac and Linux, so it's not there yet, but they will have it. Um, so basically we're just going to say, um, I'll refresh this here so you can see what I did. Free download. Click on a little window sign and download now. Okay, and then your standard dialog box will pop up. Um, one thing to show for this though is I'm going to set this up in a virtual machine because I already have it installed on my main desktop. So here is, you're going to end up with, this is actually Windows 2000, so this is just proof it'll run in XP and Vista and obviously 2000. Um, this is what you're going to end up with. You have a simple exe file. You're going to double click on fire up. Um, but there's some stuff to avoid during installation. I guess they have a lot of promotions included with it. Um, and they can be kind of... <laughs> some people download these things and it basically comes with a lot of promotion applications that are the reason that you find your PCs running slower is that part you probably have a lot of crap or program and you have to watch out for this in this program. So basically I am going to hit accept here and here's what you have to start watching that for. It's going to ask you to install Yahoo Toolbar. Hit decline. It's going to ask you to install MyFreeze, whatever that is. Hit decline. Whatever that is. Hit decline. Whatever that is. Hit decline. Registry Power Cleaner. Okay, lesson number one, never install a, a registry cleaner. Anything. Registry anything. Never. Hit decline. Hit decline. Make my freeze. Browser home page. Uncheck it. Hit decline. Okay. And then it's going to download just Digsby. If you see any other items in this list, turn around, start over. And obviously it just minimized. I didn't even notice that. So basically, oops, don't do that. Um, as you can see, I'm not used to Windows 2000. As you can see, it'll just download and automatically install the exe file for you. So it's, it's a really simple process. You just have to watch out for what it tries to do. So here is your client afterward. Now you might notice I don't have any friends. That's because it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, but basically I have this currently hooked up with my Yahoo, my Hotmail, and, um, my Facebook page, which basically I can set up so that it'll connect all these at the same time, and I can go back and forth between my desktop and my laptop, and any other computer I install it on. I create a username and password with of Digsby, Digsby and it'll automatically, when I install it on any computer or jump onto a different computer, it'll recognize all my contacts and automatically sync them up. Also, um, you can customize this, but in the left hand corner when someone like comes online or something happens like some makes a new post on Facebook it'll pop up down here and let you know and then it's really easy to see when something goes online or offline so I'm going to show you this here I'm going to go in tools preferences now I'm actually going to put the camera down just because I don't want you, I don't want you guys to see all my accounts since that would be kind of you know fun to try to deal with all that so basically um, you can connect it up to any of these accounts and then after you connect them up, you can customize them. Sorry. And um, and there is a ton of different skins, um, just simple options. Um, 
And when you actually start a chat with somebody, it looks pretty cool. Let me open up one here. I guess I have some friend online. Um, and you can, you know, do a lot of different things with the size of this or whatever. St standard stuff, but it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, and I have found that it's probably one of the best iron clients I've used. Um, and then you can also customize the notifications, so if you don't like the pop-ups coming down here when you're working or whatever, you don't like that, you can turn those off or customize which ones pop up. And I guess there's a Vista widget. I haven't had any luck with it, but I guess there is, and some people might get to work. Um, anyways, I know it's not much of a review, but for people who are looking for a good IM client, this is an excellent suggestion. Um, I have been using it on Vista on both my laptop, which is this computer, and my desktop for probably a couple weeks, and it has done me nothing but good. Um, and it's uh, quite a simple client, and it makes so everything's all in one place. Um, another suggestion is that if you're on a friend's computer or even on your iPhone or iPod Touch, if you want to use IM clients, um, Toxical, wow, my internet's really slow right now, um, you go to Mebo.com, M-E-E-B-O.com. I cannot type with one hand, that's cool. And um, you will be able to connect in Yahoo. Um, MySpace and MSN all in one client and even works where you go. Here's on the iPod Touch. I have a um, application loaded here. Next second. Meepa.com. So, um, basically, that was just a quick, quick um, video on my suggestion for IM client. And uh, good luck. Suggest you try it out. And uh, have a good day.